Hi, how are you? So I um, got asked a question the other day about um, if you buy a car, how long should you keep a car? Um, and that made me start thinking about a lot of things uh, and, and how I should respond to that to that question. So I think I want to start about buying uh, buying versus leasing and what I would recommend there. Um, I uh, We've seen a big change, especially here in South Florida, in customers leasing cars versus buying cars. Um, and really because most of the buying habits of people are um, are changing, cars are changing, people want to get out of their cars, they want to change mobile phones very often. Um, we are just become a very disposable society, I think. So, uh, so we're definitely seeing a trend of, of leasing really skyrocketing in, uh, in South Florida. Um, but I guess to determine whether you should buy or lease, it's really all based on your buying habits. Um, and I think every person is going to be different. If you are used to trading out of your cars every three or four years, um, then I'd probably suggest that you lease versus buy. Um, it makes it a little bit easier. You have a lower monthly payment. Um, but there are other things that you need to consider, like your insurance coverage that might be a little more expensive when you, when you lease. Um, mileage is also a factor, so leasing is very much like um, renting a home. They want you to turn it back in in a decent condition, and there are certain requirements, and one of those is the amount of miles that you put on the, on the car. So typical leases are 12,000 miles a year. Um, you can get uh, up to 20,000 miles a year. I think past that, it doesn't really make sense for most brands. You're better off buying at that, at that point. Um, and then there's some leases that have ultra low miles. There's some 8,000 mile a year, a year leases and 10,000 mile a year leases. So if you're not that type of person that uh, likes to change out of their cars and you do keep your cars for a long time uh, and you enjoy being able to pay off your loan and not have a monthly payment for a while, um, then buying is, is certainly the way to go for you. Um, the only thing that I would uh, caution you with is that uh, technology is changing a lot in cars. Um, cars are becoming very, very sophisticated with a lot of computers. Um, and those computers, when they do break, um, they do become very, very expensive. And so if you do keep your car for a long time, uh, you're probably going to be out of warranty. And, uh, and when one of those items breaks, it could be a very costly repair um, and, and could bring your vehicle to the point where it doesn't function. So just something to keep in mind when you're deciding whether to buy or lease a car.